Here's a warm up for weightlifting. Um, I'm doing it fairly quickly here, so you're not sat watching for ages. So the time that I take on each of these exercises, feel free to go a little bit longer, but you can see starting off with just some wrist circles, mobilization of the wrists, then shoulder movements, rotating the shoulders backwards. You're going to be involving pretty much every part of the body when performing the Olympic lifts. So we need to make sure that we're warmed up from top to toe, just mobilizing the shoulders at the same time as loosening the neck off. It's important that you take your time. Ideally, you want to hold these stretches for a good 10-15 seconds. Um, and ideally, most of the movements want to be dynamic. Pre-session, more movement. And at the end of a session is where you want to be doing your static stretches where you hold them nice and still. But we're going to be moving through a whole load of explosive movements in the Olympic lifts. So it's important that the warm-up reflects that. Here just moving through some frog exercises to get the knees and the hamstrings mobile leg swings alternating legs opposite foot to opposite hand nice to wind up the hamstrings glutes and lower back with this one start nice and gently increase as you develop through the reps bit of a hamstring stretch here also gets the lower back as well all muscle groups that we're going to be engaging when lifting Single leg squats down onto one side. Good obviously for the quads, the hips, but nice for the hamstrings, calves, just to get a good range of movement through all the joints before we start playing around with an empty bar. Okay, always good to stretch glutes out. I think everybody will find different areas of the body that you need to, to focus on. For me, it's glutes, hip flexors. Many years of training, you end up with uh, quite bulky quads, bulky glutes. It's important to spend the time stretching those because if we don't, then we end up with all kinds of injuries. Just grabbing the roller here and the mat. Nice little way to loosen off the hip flexors um, and the quads is a bit of rollering at the start. And the preconception when rollering is that you need to actually roller. But you'll see here that I'm fixing my body on the roller, one point where it's a bit tender maybe, where it's a bit tight, and I'm flexing and extending the knee rapidly on and off. And this is basically shortening the quadricep muscle. So it's adding a stretch whilst holding that fixed position. I would typically spend a good five... 10 minutes or so doing that exercise alone before moving on to the knee. And if you want it a little deeper, rather than using a roller, you could use a compression ball. Just changing the angle so it gets different parts of the muscle. And switching to the other leg. If you roll the quad up and down, you need to be careful pre-training because you'll actually lose power in the quadricep muscles. And bearing in mind, all the movements are going to be quite explosive, quite powerful. And if you're going to be lifting heavy, you need to make sure you've got as much power in those quads as possible. So try to avoid rollering up and down the quadriceps pre-exercise. It's a good little shoulder workout as well, this one. Having to fix that position, working the core. Just varying the angle all the time so I get different parts of the muscle group. Okay, this exercise really good for hammies, lower back, wrists as well. Taking weight on the hands is necessary before we start training. Key to this exercise, try to keep the hands flat on the floor. If you're restricted in the hips, you'll find that your hands will want to lift. Just taking your time wherever you need to, to do any other stretches. Okay, into some squats now. This is much more specific to what we're actually going to be doing during the lifts. Introducing a few light jumps, nothing crazy. Start gently, increase that range of movement, increase the power rep by rep until you feel that you've done enough. 
people think of a warm up as going on a, going for a run or jumping on a rower. A rower is probably the most specific cardio piece of equipment you could use, but generally my warm up would involve what you've just seen.